I have no idea. But it's just one thing to kind of keep in mind there too. So that kind of covers it up there. Now it's going to do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 11 has that Apple A13 bonding chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 10 has that Apple A11 bonding chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's a faster phone between both. There we go. Let's go and hop all the apps in the background. You can see this one has this one, but we're all cleared out. 10 is here, 11 is here. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Music, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I don't actually don't know which one's faster there. It's going into their app stores, 3, 2, 1. Oh, this one is offline. I have no idea. They're both offline. So I wonder if my Wi-Fi is off or something like that. That's a very, very concerning. Camera, 3, 2, 1. Okay, perfect. Let's take a photo, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. It's going into books, 3, 2, 1. Now, they both have that gesture-based design, which is very nice. Having that gesture is really nice. And the 10 actually, I think, beat the iPhone 11. Very insane. Settings, 3, 2, 1. I think, again, the iPhone 10 may have been faster. Getting into some of these third-party apps. Let's try Apple TV, 3, 2, 1. Now, there's no internet. I just hiccup there as well. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out. Files, let's go and see that. 3, 2, 1. Okay, very, very confusing stuff. Let's get into some of these third-party applications. Let's try something like Netflix, 3, 2, 1. I think the iPhone 11 may have been faster there. Thank you, 3, 2, 1. And kind of the same thing, not really that big of a difference there. Let's get into Temple Run, 3, 2, 1. And I guess this one had this annoying pop-up, which is so annoying. So we'll just go and hop out of this one. Let's go into something like, I could try Kenshin Impact, but that's too big. Facebook 321. So I wonder if my Wi-Fi had just cut off right now, which would not be a good thing at all. Snapchat 321. Okay, this thing just is not going to work with me today, it looks like. I've got it here. Stack 321. And it looks like the iPhone 11 is the faster one here. The iPhone 10 a little bit slower. So what did we learn? I think we basically know now that we knew before that the iPhone 11 is probably the faster phone, but the iPhone 10 did kind of look like it beat it a few times, which is pretty surprising. So when you're buying a phone like the iPhone 11, you're going to be getting a phone that's going to be a little bit faster here and there. I think the iPhone 10 is also still like a very fast phone too. But when it comes down to both, I think the iPhone 11 is probably the faster one more times than not. So that kind of covers it up there. Now, hitting on the cameras, this is another very interesting area of both these phones because, like I said, they both have...